Hey! You can't just throw me away! Okay. We'll be right here when you get back. Belle, don't go too far or else we won't be able to find you. That's the idea. But if you leave, you can't go back down. Something tells me above ground dying beats underground living. See ya, Eleanor. Belle, stop. Hey! that spending 12 years in a hole would make me an expert on the end of the world, but I seriously underestimated the clutter. I see how she could throw you out, but me? I'm a two-stripe citizen, 10th generation. It was a bunker. Aren't we all 10th generation? I was about to enter her inner circle. How could Coach just bench me like this? I don't know. Maybe she thought your big head was taking up too much space. Oh, don't you lecture me about taking up too much hmm? space. Is that a fat joke? You're a fat joke. So, do you think Coach wants you dead right away? Or in a couple of days? That's ridiculous. The great Coach preserves the last pocket of humanity. As such, she keeps us clothed, fit, and... Safe. Those old world guys left the coolest stuff behind. We've been sent to die in a gold mine. We're not gonna die. Well, not right this second. We have a bigger purpose out here. I think we're lucky to be breathing the air out here. Belle, take that off. Oh, please, just let me die in something nice. You have to stay in uniform. Coach is testing us. She's what? <laughs> Why do you think she's... Why do you think she's trained our bodies day and night? Because she's a nutcase? To colonize and rebuild the world. Do you hear yourself? Hey, I thought you said there were no survivors except us. There aren't. Looks like a survivor to me. But the Holy Playbook says there were no human survivors. This must be some new... stubby form of life. Hey, lady, that's a proto key 360 you're sitting on. Stubby speaks the coach's English. I also know C. Not that you ask you. <laughs> it does riddles too. Eleanor, this proves there's life outside of Sports Town. Sports Town? That dilapidated sporting goods store? You couldn't keep a cockroach alive down there. What did you say? What's a cockroach? Now, a computer store, on the other hand, makes the perfect bunker. Spacious, functional generators, and plenty of gadgets to play with. Although, this particular specimen had an unsound foundation. Coach has provided plenty of space, and I won't have you slander our generators that way. The lady's obviously confused. You're telling me. I'd stay out of the rain if I were you, oh. miss. I doubt your skin is tough enough for it. Ta-ta! Nobody has tougher skin than I do. Louis H. Barbell, you stay right here. Hey, where are you even going? And she's gone. Oh, 
Wait up. Oh, this boy can run in flats. Oh, wow. He's interesting. Oh, look at him. They're so asymmetrical and scary. Come on, let's mingle. Y'all were living underneath that old sports store? Yep. We're tenth generation. No kidding. You know, I can run like the wind when I want to, but I never want to. <laughs> Hey, I got dinner. Does it have electrolytes? I doubt it. I'll pass. You gotta eat something. I'll eat when I get home. You know we can't really go back, don't you? The second the rain stops, I'm going straight to Sports Town. You know, I heard this room used to be for giant watching. What? Yeah, apparently people would sit in groups and look at that big square. You could see giant people in it. What would they be doing? Mostly arguing. Huh. There was no home for me where we came from, and I'm not going back. I want to see what this death trap has to offer. You can come if you want to. Coming. <laughs> 